when I look back, I appreciate everything that I've been through and I, I welcome this time now. From I was young, my, my brother always told me that he thought I would be a, a police officer, you know, and because I'm always serious, but my face expression has nothing to do with my heart, you know. I am a very happy guy, you know, and, and I'm always a, a jovial person, joke around and, and just have happy time. But sometimes when I'm on the street, I don't smile much, you know, because I'm like, like this, if I don't know you, it's hard for me to just come and smile or be happy. I, I remember in Norway, kids used to come and just like asking me for an autograph and they would like stay away, like they are afraid of my face. But yeah, for me, I'm, I'm happy inside and that's what counts. I grew up, I grew up with a farming dad, you know, so maybe I would gravitate to that because I like farming. but. At the same time, I did well in school. I could have moved on to university, but I chose football instead. And the, the river was between my house and the football pitch, so I, I grew up there and I used to go to the football pitch and just play with the bigger kids. And I know I, I play hard when it, when on the pitch, you know, but and that's the way I grew up playing, because where we play football when I was younger, it's, I wouldn't say it's football, it's like a fight, but in a good way, you know. And I was like one of the youngest there at, at the time, and it was really a man game. Tackles flying all about, and you know, it was a very physical game, and you have to adapt to it. So I think that, that gravitated within my game, and you know, it, it has become a part of me, my identity. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased, you know. I, I have to to accept that that's how I am. Um, the first time I came to Europe, it was crazy experience for me. It was really cold, even in April, and the tempo of the games were very fast, and I didn't used to it. And you know, to feel the cold wind coming down your throat, it, it was really difficult because in Jamaica it's very warm, but. Before I, I went to Norway, I was in Stoke City, you know, doing my rehab on my knee because I had a bad injury and I did a surgery and then we did another surgery and then I went back to Jamaica and then after three months I went back to England and then the coach in Stoke, he said he gave me two weeks to prove myself and within um, two days he said he wanted to sign me. I applied for the, the work permit to play there and I didn't get it. Then Brand, they came to watch me play versus Canada in the national team and they, they signed me on a one-year loan from then. But when I went there, I thought I would just sign. And they said, no, I had to do a medical, plus I had to train before, you know, and it's like you have to prove yourself even when the agreement was made before, but after six games, they signed me fully. You have to, to make sacrifices in life. My wife is there with them and I am here by myself. So it's a 50-50 it's a situation where we know we love each other and we're just doing it. And one day it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop, you know. If you are ambitious and you really want to change your life, you know, I don't do it to buy flashy things and do crazy stuff, you know. I, I came here because I really love football and I want a better life in the future for myself, my family, my kids also, you know. And, and so those are the things why I, I, I really push myself and stuff. I would be lying if I said those weren't the things, but you have to know from an early age what you want. 